I started working in Strata in 1988 in an admin role and eventually I worked my way up to being uh, a Strata manager, managing a portfolio in the eastern suburbs. A lot of clients had asked me why I was working for a large firm and not by myself and I went and saw a talk by a pre-Anthony Robbins seminar and I'd never been to anything like it so I thought it was absolutely wonderful and just wrote copious notes, put them up on the walls of my office, read them every day and based on that I then decided that I had what it took to go out on my own. So I got myself a part-time job working as a secretary to pay the rent, feed myself on a budgie and started off. I was keen as mustard and couldn't wait. I didn't think my father would think that that was a good idea so I didn't tell him for three months what I had done. But when I did, he said that he always knew that I would because I've always had an independent streak and want to show everyone that I know what I'm doing. And then three months after we started, we had the April 99 storms and like most strata managers had their hands full. Uh, we had one building that was particularly badly damaged and needed a new roof. So we got on to sorting that out and I was up providing services up until midnight the night that that happened. So that was very, very important to me that those clients didn't feel that they were alone, that they had someone there supporting them through all the, the dramas of leaking roofs until we could get it tarped. Um, and so yeah, during that time I just knew that I had made the right decision to go out on my own because I had all the experience, I had all the knowledge, I knew what to do. There was not a point in time when I didn't know what to do. And we've gone on, it was just uh, a sample of a point in time when we knew that we could provide service to our clients unlike anyone else.